Queen before the horde could reach the surface. The Spider Queen sent forth a wave of her children. Of course, the ultimate evil was fully aware of this danger and immediately prepared to defend itself against them. At least, that's what I hope. So, do, so it looks like when you're not in the overworld, you don't have a lot of control of your dudes. It's basically you just you drop them into a fight, and I guess I could smack them. Visit the premium shop where you can buy 20 gems for just $100, which will speed up the rate of which this work is done. Hang on a minute. This isn't a free to play game. Just completely <laughs> ignore what I just said. It sounds like Josh Strife Hayes. And another wave of spiders set out to destroy the ultimate evil. Okay, so there was a potion. Can I pause the game? I don't think I can pause it. All right, I gave it to the injured dude. I'm smacking my dudes, do more damage. The vile perversion, once <laughs> called the Spider Queen, had nothing more with which she could fight the horde. Later, the sensitive evil would have her innards made into a lava lamp. The way <laughs> right the on. was open. Now it was time to put those vengeance plans into practice. The vile evil wanted to take this opportunity to utter a really sinister laugh. But unfortunately, its physical state made this unviable. Instead, it asked the narrator to do a bit of sinister laughter on its behalf. Oh well, here goes. Deep breath. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Once the ultimate evil Level two complete. from the depths, Still fettered to the throne, it traveled to wreak terrible vengeance on those who had done this, heavily supported by its little snots. The first target was Paladin Robert, now King of the Alliance. He had withdrawn to the quiet surroundings of his hunting lodge. There, he would be the perfect victim. Okay. An attack on your throne room causes all your creatures from every corner of your dungeon to come to your defense. Even the snots? Save me, snots. According to scouts, King Robert spent most of his time strolling around his hunting lodge garden reciting poetry. Soon his poetry would turn into... With a warhammer and a shield? The vengeful evil thirsted to defeat the Alliance's king and mount his head on the wall as a trophy. Whoops, of course, I really mean that he wanted to take all of King Robert's cookies away. Better play it safe, or the age classification folks will be up. <laughs> Before that, however, the ultimate evil PG had to evil. work on the dungeon. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to fund even a small army made up of a few orcs. Uh, okay. So, the dungeon's changed a bit. Alright, so... I guess that's like the exit. Um... Oh. Uh, hire three orcs. First, I'd like to get more snots. The 
first treasury was completed. Soon greedy evil's little snots would fill it with gold. Y yeah. You know the golden rule, right? Whoever has the gold makes the rules. All right, I've got a basic treasury now. I mean, this room right here seems perfect for slapping down a brewery. Um, need three orcs. That's six food, so I can go up to nine snots. Right now, the restricted evil was only able to call upon orcs and little snots, but there had been rumors that some goblins were hiding out in a cave somewhere close by. The exploratory evil would be sure to follow this line of inquiry. These little snots seem much smarter than Overlord minions. That's <laughs> that's not a high bar. <sighs> the first brewery was completed. Soon beer would be flowing like a river, and an Oktoberfest atmosphere would pervade all. Would the ultimate evil put the beer baron out of business? Ugh, such a dumb reference. The strategy guidebook, Dungeons for Dummies, says, <clears throat> Mountains don't always just consist of rocks and stone, but may also include natural as well as artificial caves and rooms. These usually contain treasures and dangers to make digging around underground more exciting. The warmongering evil had hired the first orc. As ancient we got more says, the orc. violence is a solution, usually the only one. Slap! 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 I hope their hit points regen over time. I don't know if they do. War caller... I-log? War, war caller e-log. We're color I like. I, I tried. I'm sorry. Muggle and Douglas Bath, Adam E. Reginald Esquire, the fourth. This is Johnson Fast Novels, the third. Welcome to you and your viewers to the lab. Hope you enjoy your stay. Entertainment is on the way. Crank up the speakers. Don't touch the baker's giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. The mm. ultimate evil. Should Welcome. Never forget to keep a watchful eye on its beer and gold stores. The steady pounding in the rocks have given rise to overworld rumors of a new dungeon. A group of heroes set out to plunder its riches, and the ultimate evil was already looking forward to this visit. <laughs> that was a better laugh Another than the last one. Entered the service of the military savvy evil. The horde was growing and prospering. Ah, horde reference. There are enemies in your dungeon. What? The time to attack appeared to be right. On the surface, in the tavern of a small, miserable village, some adventurers gathered. They were acquiring Dutch courage for their visit to the dungeon by downing several beers. How many orcs do I have? Just these three? To be destroyed. The ultimate evil slowly made itself cozy. The heroes didn't know what had hit them, as several orcs bore down from nowhere and annihilated them. Nice. This group of heroes had plundered their last dungeon, but there would be more. Payday. I think I need to expand the treasury. And are we destroy the alliance's village? Can I do that with just three orcs? I wonder at what point we raise the population cap. 
That sounds like just amazing to me right now. Ooh, we got rats in the dungeon. Uh, let's see. Orc, orc, orc. And... Right here. It's unfortunate that while I'm dropping them, they're already taking hits. But if I drop them too far away, they will, um... They will not engage. Defend the throne room. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do we have enemies in the throne room? What's going on? Spider, where did you guys come from? I have no idea where those came from. Okay. So, next quest says destroy the Alliance's village. I see. So, if I, do I just drop these guys on the gate? Yes. Okay, and now that we're in the overworld, I can control them better. What's this? Range of view plus 50%. Keep an eye on the mini-map? Yeah, I'll try to do better with that. There's actually two maps. There's one in the bottom left, which is, I think, the overworld, and one in the bottom right. Are three orcs going to be enough of this? I'm guessing that building is spawning the units. Alright, let's see. Are these dudes squishier? Yeah, they are. Alright, we'll take these out before the burly looking guys. Alright, let's go back to the dungeon view for a minute. Um, let's do that. Ah, I think I found where the spiders came from. Ironclad, armor plus one. Alright, we'll keep that in the throne for now. Alright, so this is where those spiders came from. All right, try breaking the house. I was literally just thinking, uh, thinking Warcraft through somewhere. Yeah, a little bit. It's kind of like half RTS, half... I don't know what to call this, but I do enjoy it. A delicious rumble announced the nice. fact that the village's last house had crashed to the ground. There would be no more heroes meeting there to seek out the dungeon of the destruction hungry evil. The hunting lodge of King Robert lay in the north. It was there that the ultimate evil would finally get its long-awaited revenge. However, it looked pretty damn well guarded. Maybe it should first visit the cave to the west, inhabited by a clan of goblins, where the cunning evil could do a little negotiating. I like how the environment changes when you conquer an area. Can I, like, do... Hold on a sec. Okay, so I just did control one to make an attack group. I wasn't sure if that would work. Uh, oh, and hi, first time to Mox Twitch. Been long enjoying the YouTube videos. Oh, hello, welcome. Nice to meet someone else of good taste. I'm glad you like my stuff, thank you. The goblin leader prostrated himself joyfully before the ultimate evil, and immediately dispatched two goblins into its dungeon with a few plans for a new room, a tinkerer's cave. This was built as quickly as possible. Um, okay. Build a tinkerer's cave. Well, we got a room here, sort of. Create, build a create a map. Built. It could, however, only be used as a warehouse, as it lacked the workshop that the insidious evil's goblins needed. Quick as a flash, evil placed a creator mat in the Tinkerer's cave. I'm going to change the size of the room before I do this. Oh, a new arrival. 
Welcome to arrival. Hello. All right. So create o mat. Oh, and you can like turn it. A sparkling new creator mat raised the Tinkerer's Cave of the Expansion Hungry Evil. A goblin would be able to work well in here, producing toolboxes. A few of these boxes would now be needed in order to invent a trap. The moody evil waited patiently. It says I've got two goblins. Where are they? Wait, are they already here? Oh, they're already at home. Okay. Cool, right on. Uh, let's have you pick that up. I guess I can't go into the other rooms. Okay. Oh, that healed all of them. The potion's like AOE. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Never played Guild Wars 2, I just installed the base game. Should I pick the DLC or hold off? Um I don't I don't you know like work for Guild Wars 2, so I'm not gonna try to like just sell you something. I'll say you could try the base game for hundreds of hours and play all the way to max level and see if you like it before you buy. That would be what I would do. As, although I love Guild Wars 2, I'm not going to pretend like it's the perfect game for everyone on the planet. So, you you know, you might try it out and see if you like it. And then if you decide you like it and you want to buy, you know, the, the expansions and stuff like that, then I would totally say, hey, you can use my referral link. <laughs> but you don't have to do that. You know, you could try it out first. Uh, so there's... Produce toolboxes. The perfect option if you'd rather produce toolboxes instead of conducting research. Research new traps. Research exploding treasure chest. Okay. Uh, I think the goblins are on break time or something. This one was working and stopped. I think he's... Oh, it says zzz. I think he's going to sleep or something? Can I do a Q? Not an oh, faster healing. Homeo homeopathy has inveigled its way into your dungeon. Distribute funny little sugar pills to your monster and thereby get wounds to heal faster, but requires a hospital. Okay. Oh my gosh, the trap research is almost done. As cowardly as the goblins were, their creativity more than made up for this. They proudly presented the treacherous evil with their plan for a devious trap. With a silent, evil cackle, it quickly buckled down to setting the trap. Oh, it uses up the toolbox. Okay, so they make toolboxes here, and then the little dudes use them to make the traps. Got it. What about these dudes? Are they doing anything right now? Wednesdays when they re-release the world of so, so, so. Uh, I'd have to double check the date. I'm not sure. I know it's coming up. Because there's that, and there's also the challenge mode uh, coming up for... What's it called? Um, the strike mission.
Buzzkill Omega, thank you so much. Muckle Douglas Bob, that'll be original desk while the fourth is a Johnson Fest Duffles, the third book was you Buzzkill to the lab. Hope you enjoy your stay entertainment is on the way. Crank up the speakers on top to beakers giveaways every week. Please take a seat, which will only need the edge. Found by a hero. This is gonna be so much fun. Just at that moment, a particularly powerful dwarf warrior appeared in the dungeon. How had he suddenly arrived at this precise time was indeed most odd. But his presence was more than welcome. He was going to be a guinea pig for the trap. For the trap. Even this strong <laughs> dwarf warrior didn't stand a chance against the treacherous traps and powerful monsters of the invincible evil. He bit the dust. So much for a game of dwarves. <laughs> a game of dwarves. The defenses were now clearly much improved. But the hunting lodge still remained well protected and impregnable. There was nothing that the ultimate evil could do. The task was impossible. So the evil withdrew, bent and broken. Let feelings of revenge ebb away. And instead took up looking after those cute, teeny weeny trees. What? What are they called again? Bonsai, yes, that's it. The end. Pretty unsatisfactory, huh? <laughs> of course, that wasn't the end. In reality, the indefatigable evil paid the goblin cave another little visit. The goblin leader would hopefully spit out something useful after a few more slaps. Oh, I gotta go back to the goblin cave. There are enemies in your dungeon. Oh, I can pick them up like this. This is so much better. All right, hold on. I'm gonna wait for the explosion. The expansion-driven evil couldn't wait to explore the further possibilities of the Tinkerer's Cave. In particular, a hospital seemed a useful way to cure its ailing units. It set about asking for this to be researched. Uh, hospital... Improve rooms? No. Research new rooms. Hospital. It uses two toolboxes, 750 gold. Sounds like something worth researching. Uh, let's see. Maybe this can be in our hospital right here. All right. Uh, beat up the goblin chieftain. <laughs> but he's a good boy. All right, I'll send them over to the goblins. So it looks like when a when one of these explodes, um, it the snots will pick up two. I like how there's a picture that says gold here. <laughs> what the goblins pick up, uh, or the, the snots pick up two toolboxes to go fix it. The, beat the charitable evil had researched the hospital. This would enable its units to quickly recover from their injuries once it had been built. That is. The caring evil had good-naturedly built a hospital for its suffering creatures. It, however, still lacked a hospital bed. Little snots would then bring any units there that have been injured in the dungeon. In the dungeon. So if they get taken out outside the dungeon, they might be in trouble. They might be dead dead. All right, let's do da da da, da and then fill in here. Okay, and then we got to build a hospital bed. The first hospital bed had been built. Wounded units could now be healed in the hospital. Little snots would also be able to bring defeated creatures here so that they could be nursed back to health. Nurse defeated creatures back to health? Need more toolboxes for that. Uh, research new traps. Exploding treasure chests. Already researched. Why is it still there? Tar pit. Simple yet effective at preventing heroes from progressing. Uh, I almost have no toolboxes. I'd like to get faster regen. There are enemies in your dungeon. Um. Hmm. I don't have a lot of people here.
Let's Although see if one goblin can handle this. Clear, someone has persistently refused to follow my story. Instead of handling the whole goblin and castle thing, it seems the one in charge was busy handling something else. I was trying to do that, but I keep getting attacked, my guy. All right, these guys got to rush home, I think. We have got a problem. We have got a problem. This is a weird Warcraft mod. Defend the throne room. Hopefully the throne room can take a few hits. Alright. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh shoot, I just picked up the unconscious goblet. I'm literally dropping an unconscious goblet on top of these dudes with the rest of the army. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. We're gonna leave the goblin here to rest up. And you three, let's try to handle this as quickly as possible. Go back here. Alright, so he's healing in the bed. Research is still going. Alright, beat up the goblin chieftain. Hopefully three orcs are enough for that, because the goblins are... One goblin's working and the other's beat up right now. Why not make a couple of orcs? I'm capped on units. I cannot make any more units. Wait, he's not even fighting back. I a thought this was... hard slaps were enough to motivate the leader of the goblins to help the ultimate evil. As it transpired, there was an old tunnel which had been previously used as an escape route. This connected the goblin cave with the vaults of the hunting lodge. The goblin leader voluntarily made a goblin assassin available to the hard-hitting evil to help infiltrate the lodge. Payday. Where is this assassin? Oh, here he is. The cheerful evil was pleased with this support. An assassin was a decent melee fighter, but its actual strength lay in its ability to make itself invisible. This was, of course, tested out immediately. Got Despite it. the powerful invisibility skill, it was advisable for the ultimate evil to be cautious. Some opponents had such highly trained observation skills that they were actually able to see invisible units. A locked door prevented the assassin from progressing. It would have taken a long, long, long time for him to have opened it with sheer brute force using weaponry. Thankfully, he had a suitable skill with which he could deactivate doors and, more importantly, traps. Deactivate door. Now, but can he fight? Oh god, he's glassy. I guess that's why that potion is there. Let's have you three go back to the dungeon. And then go back to this guy. The on-the-ball evil recognized that the warrior princess there was extremely powerful. The goblin assassin would be best advised to avoid any contact with her. The warrior princess, okay. She looks like a Valkyrie from uh, Clash of Clans. Any suggested server for GW2? Um, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's just you either want to be on, you know, NA if you're NA or EU if you're closer to EU. That's pretty much it. A gobobot was being forced to make miserable repairs in the lodge. A brief feeling of what you thought might be sympathy passed through the sensitive evil, but this actually turned out to be a mighty belch. Naturally, it would free the useful gobobot anyway. Oh, the first hit you do from invisibility is uh, quite nasty. I'm trying to open the door, but I can't. Maybe I just have to wait for the Gobbo bot to kill these guys? I guess so. 
Elated by the assassin's attempt at rescuing it, the Gobobot joined the horde and succeeded in showing its tormentors a real hot time. Its ability to more or less ignore range damage